Hi everyone, this is Richie of Thomas Sessions. Be informed. So today we're going to discuss about inventory. And what is inventory? Inventory is actually the amount of stocks that you have uh, on hand. Whether it be um, bottles, tools, glasswares, groceries, miscellaneous items. Now inventory actually is one of the most um, tedious or hated tasks of bartenders. I mean, I get that uh, based on experience also because once upon a time, uh, it's, it's like a burden because you have to count everything inside your bar. But over the years, of course, um, I realized that inventory is one of the most important things because once an item is lost, once an item is broken, or once an item is transferred, you can monitor you know, the status of, uh, well, one is your consumption, okay? Two, you can monitor if, let's say, you work in a big hotel and you, you do a lot of transfers, you can monitor which department has uh, borrows a lot from you, okay? And uh, three, the breakages, you can monitor also where you need to be careful uh, the next time. Now, in terms of bottle inventory, basically, um, there's such a system called the point system. For example, a full bottle, a new bottle, for example, is considered one. Now, the bottle is divided into 10 parts. That's why it becomes points. One bottle is divided into 10 parts. So one part is called, or you term it as 0.10. One part is 0.10. Okay? How does 0.10 look like? So we have a bottle here of Bacardi. Okay? Now, this is still, this is real rum. I want to see. I'll pour it in our shaker. Okay. And I want to measure how much of that content. Okay, let's reverse it. I'm using, okay, this is 0 0.30, by the way, and this is 0 0.60. 30, 60. Okay. So, Okay. So one, the amount that was here is actually 30 ml. So I will return it. Okay. So if you notice, one shot or 30 ml is this much. Can you see that? Okay, can you see that? Okay, now, this is what I did for everybody that's watching right now. What I did was, I measured how does that point, the 30 ml, looks like okay now if you notice this stick or this stirrer has some lines if you notice if you look closely there it's half of this one now the reason why it is half because this is actually 0 0.05 because of the punt. So it creates like an illusion that the, the bottom of this bottle has a punt. So that's why you see that um, one point or one part is actually, um, for this one, 0 0.05. 
Now, let me show you a different bottle using water. So, this is a full bottle. Okay, but I think this won't be this won't be enough. Okay, let's finish. Let's finish one bottle. Okay. Now, let me just get me a shaker. So again, this is full bottle. I will just transfer a part. Then let's see if we can do 60 ml. Okay, 60. Okay. So You can see the difference between 30, <clears throat> okay, hold on guys, in 30 okay, and 60. See that? Okay. 30 and 60. So now, using our stick a while ago, you can see that. Okay. So more or less based on the meniscus. Okay. This is point 0.10. So we have 60. Huh? This is 60 uh, or, or, or two shots. This is one shot. Now, let's do this. I will add two more or point 0.60. Two more shots or point 0.60. Okay. So now <clears throat> let's measure. So if you notice, like I told you, from point ten, this is now our point twenty. See? See the line? No? Okay. So that's why this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So point 50. But, okay, there's a but. Since you see that you have a punt here, technically, by eyesight, this is not point 50. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. This is not point 50 because of our eyesight. This becomes point 20, 30, 40, 50. This becomes point 50. Now, look why. If you look at the bottle, 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. If you look at the bottle, or the whole bottle, this becomes half. Look, right? So there's a difference of 0.10 or two shots because of this. Okay? Now, technically, <clears throat> this is a 750 ml bottle. Okay, so... 750 divided by 
30, that's 25. Okay? So you have 25 shots per bottle of 750. But, ah, if you, if you would really measure this, there is actually, based on our ruler, okay, because I, I made one, okay, look closely, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen, thirteen times two is twenty-six, twenty-six shots. So, one shot is there for allowance, or angel share maybe, no, or evaporation as they say. So, that's why you have 25, okay? So, I repeat, 0 0.05 is one shot, 0.10 is two shots, then 0.50 is half bottle. So, if we will check this, so now I have two bottles. If I will do the inventory, this I have two bottles. This is one because it's full. One bottle of Siete Mysterios. And I have half. So I have 1.5 bottles of Siete Mysterios. You get it so far? Okay. Next. Just to give you another um, insight. This bottle of Giffard is one liter, or as you can see closer, this is what? 100 cl. Can you see that there? 100 cl. Okay, or one liter. So, if I divide it by, by 30, it's 33.33333333, okay? So, but since it's point system, again, we're going to base it on a full bottle, okay? So, basically, this one, if I will use the point system, one, two, okay, let's say this is half bottle, 50, right? 50, 60, 70, more or less, this is point 0.75. Okay, now, this is a general way of conducting inventory. Now, of course, again, like I always say, if your, if your bar has a different standard or maybe a modified standard, then go ahead. But it's very important for us bartenders to know how many shots is it per bottle. Now, in fact, even when you go to wines, no? for wines, they would say, one bottle is, bit, well, a 750 bottle is between six to eight glasses. But then again, that depends on how many ounces is one glass. So you can also do that, but, okay, um, you can actually, using an empty bottle, fill it up with water based on one full bottle, and then measure how many uh, shots or ounces if you're serving one glass. Normally, uh, I would think, it's between 120 ml to 150 ml. So you are talking of 120 divided by 30, 4 ounces or 5 ounces. Okay? So if that's the case, then you can determine how many glasses per 750 ml of the wine bottle. Okay? So again, that's the inventory or the point system if you're using it for uh, to to do the inventory for your bottles now when it comes to juices for example same thing if you can see the bottle like let's say a mineral water um, you can do the point system uh, if you're using um, tetra tetra pack 
well you can estimate but again like i said the more exact your system is the better in fact you can also do it by weight okay um uh, that's why there uh, like us for example um we do have um weighted scales based on 500 grams or 1 liter so at least um we are sure okay if we need to be very very accurate about the inventory we weigh our our items okay especially the solid ones now but if it's liquid because we know very very much in the operation that um the sometimes you know there's always a tendency for for uh, spillage okay or maybe if, um maybe a little giveaway in fact that's why that that's the secret although it's not a secret anymore so since there's 26 shots so that extra okay that extra now becomes like a, a, a buffer no for your for your spillage for your overpour and and what not okay this is a guide for you to monitor the bottle or the quantity and that is why you have to also be um accurate when you do your pouring for your cocktails so that as a bartender you can already have a, an accurate guess or an accurate forecast if you already need to um request another bottle based on your par stock okay now what is par stock par stock is actually uh, the quantity of items that you need for the whole operation so for example this bottle of uh, Giffard um, sugar cane so let's say based on a 30 seater uh, my consumption for this for one bottle one bottle will last me maybe 15 days 15 days okay so let's say on the 10th day uh, I already have maybe point 30 left so it's time for me to request so what I'll do is I can make my par stock to two bottles of this okay so at least I have a I have a buffer I don't just rely on on just one bottle unless it's very very slow let's say I can only I consume this uh, one bottle I can finish this in in two months so my par stock would really just be one okay So there you have it. Well, I do hope you learned a lot today in our topic about inventory. It's pretty basic really, uh, but we'll be featuring um, other similar topics on inventory. But for the meantime, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, click the like, and please put a comment if you have any suggestions um, on other topics that you want us to discuss and also other ways that uh, we can improve this channel because we made it just for you. Okay? So, goodbye now and keep safe. Keep